All right, so this is the junk gun. This has been shot at many a match. I recently had it at uh, School of the American Rifle and we gauged it out and it was pretty much conduit pipe. Somebody asked to see what the rifling looked like on the inside with the borescope. So let's do that. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's see what it looks like. So there's virtually no rifling left there. We did recrown this. You can see that there's a, a recrown. We cut it back to try to get at least a straight edge on the end of what appears to be conduit pipe. So if you look at that edge right around here, you can see the depth of the rifling or lack thereof. This has copper and carbon fouling. Not really a whole lot of rifling. A little bit right there. You can see there's kind of a sharp edge right there. I think I missed the gas board and we'll go back. Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. Lots of carbon. I think there's a little bit of rifling there and it's still grabbing past the gas port um, towards the center of the barrel. Yeah, you can still see there's just a tiny little bit of rifling left there. But the further we get to the throat, you see it just kind of starts to disappear. And now we're back to conduit pipe. A ah, little bit of rifling there. Lots of carbon. Alligated cracking underneath the carbon. Oh, wow, look at that one. There's absolutely nothing there. That is straight conduit pipe. There's nothing, there's no rifling at all. That's the throat. So that's the throat all the way out. Mm. Yeah, it might be thick enough right there to touch the gauge. So I've got a picture of what it did with the throat gauge. It's pretty extreme. And uh, I'll cut in a, uh, the video that we took at Sotar for the muzzle gauge, which was pretty hilarious. It just, it swallowed the whole thing. I hear that a lot. We hate her. Well, Whoops. Well, <laughs> the rest of the that's insane, hate. man. Yeah, that's way past it. Yeah, that's smoked. Uh, yeah. That's well, awesome. Well, you can see that this thing has had major amounts of rounds on it. Well over 23,000 rounds. 20,000 of that was Russian steel case. And I can still get it to shoot M193. That's about it though. Everything else, it well, it either spalls the barrel and I get keyholes or it just won't group. But yeah, that's it. It is, that is definitely roasty. This bad boy has seen some shooting. It's all right, I'm gonna continue to shoot it until it literally will not shoot a single bullet accurately. And then I'll pull it off and send it to Chad which actually might be sooner than we think. It may be just about there. So I got a couple more years out of it. Yeah, so you got it running? Okay, so I'm gonna shoot a group at 100 yards on an eight inch steel plate with, this is M193, this is MagTech. This is what we're shooting, MagTech Tactical. Okay. So it's just basic M193, 100 yards, 8 inch plate with the junk gun. See if I can hit anything.
pounds. So. All right, let's go look at the targets. Don't stop it. Oh, did I didn't you stop, stop it? it. Okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. You get you to come down range. Yeah. No? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So this was my test group. So funny. I got it. This was my test group, and then this was what I did afterwards. This right here was probably me or inaccuracy in the ammo, but it's still shooting groups. You can see it. That's a good group. Yeah. Nice. 